the best cafe in the world. We're making cakes. Hello. Oh, small, I just remembered. I've got a surprise to help us out in the kitchen. Oh, is it a big whisk? Nope, it's better than that. It's a radio. So we can dance while we cook. Oh, I love a kitchen disco. Switch it on, Jen. OK. How should we dance to this music? Oh, we need to dance really fast like it's party time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's try another one. Okay. Ooh, how should we dance to this music? Slowly and gracefully, like a ballerina. Ooh. Let's try another station. OK. Wow, how should we dance to this music? Really funky, like a disco. <gasps> oh. oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's a kitchen disco disaster. The radio's run out of batteries. Oh, no more dancing for us. Don't be down small. We've got a customer. <laughs> I'm off with a whiz to see who it is. Woohoo! Who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us a clue. See if you can guess too. She's made out of metal and she talks like this. Bleep, blop, blip. Someone made of metal who goes bleep, blop, blip. Do you know who that could be? Is it a robot? Yes, it's our friend Ruby the robot. But what can we cook for a hungry robot? Something that's got nuts and bolts. <laughs> I think it's time to look in my book. a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day, Ruby the robot was taking part in a dance contest with her friends. The best dancer would win first prize. All her friends had special dances, but Ruby couldn't think of a dance of her own, so she decided to copy them. First, Ruby danced against Wiggly Woo the worm. Wiggly Woo did a wiggly dance and Ruby tried it too. Ruby wiggled and jiggled so fast, Wiggly Woo copied and got himself in a knot. So Ruby went through to round two. Next, she danced against Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty did a jumpy dance and Ruby tried it too. Ruby jumped so high that Humpty copied. And crash! Humpty had a great fall. So Ruby went through to the final where she danced against Incy Wincy Spider. Incy Wincy was a very good dancer. She had eight legs and can do the splits with all of them. So Ruby tried to do the splits too, but she landed with a thud and her legs got stuck. Oh dear, said Ruby. I was a bit rusty on that move. Luckily, I'd been watching the contest and rushed to help. I squished some oil on Ruby's legs and with a squeak and a creak, she was back on her feet. This time, when Ruby started dancing, instead of copying her friends, she made up her own dance. And she blipped and beat and boogied. She was so brilliant, she won the contest. Wow, I said, what do you call that dance? It's called the robot, Ruby said. <laughs> <laughs> Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. It was. Thank goodness you got Ruby back on her feet so she could dance her way to victory. But what can we cook for her to eat? <laughs> we need to make Ruby some foodie to help her boogie. <laughs> Maybe some yummy party food? Hmm. We need to do some serious thinking. Cook's big cookery 
book. Of course, the big cookery book. There are recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Ooh, what about this one? Robot fridge cake. Guaranteed to keep any robot a moving and a grooving. Perfect. Can you read out the ingredients, Small? Coming up, Jen. To make our robot, we need butter, sultanas, digestive biscuits, glacé cherries, soft brown sugar, and icing eyes to decorate. Great, we've got all those. And last and loveliest of all, some fudge. Oh no, we've run out of fudge. It never lasts long with you around small. Don't worry, Jen, I can whiz off and get some. And I'll get everything ready. Why don't you come along too? Woo -hoo! Away. I wonder what she'll see today. I think fudge must be made here. The man's putting the butter into a big bowl. He then adds some gooey liquid sugar and some condensed milk and gives it a stir. Fudge is a very sweet recipe, so I only have it as a treat once in a while. Add the sugar and the flavouring and stir it again. The fudge is being warmed up to melt all the ingredients. This machine checks if the fudge is hot enough. Where's the fudge going now? It's being poured into a tray. <gasps> Spread it all out. The trays of fudge cool down in here. Once it's cooled, it turns into a big solid block of fudge. This roller measures the fudge into strips. And then it's cut into squares. This is a job for grown-up helpers. the delicious blocks of fudge. Now the fudge is ready to sell in the shop. Thank you very much. Thank you. I love fudge. This looks so delicious. It's going to be perfect for our recipe. I should get back to the cafe. I'll see you there. What are you doing, Jen? I'm trying to get our radio to work again. I miss having music to dance to. Oh, it's OK. I don't have music, but I do have fudge. <laughs> nice one, Small. We have everything we need. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Honey pots and hedgehog rolls. Starry breakfast skies. Robot cake and power shake. And sunflower surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. She is big cook and she is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets so rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All clean and ready to cook. Do you remember the ingredients for robot fridge cake? To make the robot, we need digestive biscuits. 200 grams, about half a packet. 
butter, 200 grams, sultanas, a small bowlful, glacé cherries, a handful, roughly chopped and a few for decoration, soft brown sugar, 40 grams, golden syrup, two tablespoons, edible ice, two for decoration, and fudge squares. We need a handful. That's everything. Let's get started. First, we need to bash our biscuits in a bowl. We can use the end of a rolling pin to do this. Bash, 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 bash. Phew, this is really hard work. Hmm. <gasps> oh, what you need, Jen, is the state-of-the-art handy kitchen helper. Do I? Bleep, 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 bleep. Bleep. Robot Small activated. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Hello, I am Robot Small, your tiny handy kitchen robot. How may I help? You could help me with the biscuits. Here's some to bash. Error, error, rolling pin, too large. Switching to spoon mode. Oh. Begin bashing mode. Make sure all the big bits are bashed right down. It looks a bit like sand at the beach. <laughs> oh, crumbs. Oh, bashing complete. But the crumbs are all over the counter, not in the bowl. Entering sleep mode. <clears throat> Technology is tricky. <laughs> we need to melt our butter in a pan. This is a hob job. So ask your grown-up helper to do it, as the pan and the hob will be... Hot, hot, hot. Once the butter has melted, add in the broken biscuits, soft brown sugar, golden syrup, mm. <laughs> glacé cherries, and sultanas. Then stir them all together really well. Make sure it's all mixed together nice and evenly. Whew, all this stirring is making my arm sore. Maybe my handy kitchen robot could help me out. <gasps> Ooh, hard work alert. I seem to be losing power. How strange. Once everything is mixed together, take it off the heat and leave it to cool down for a bit. Then, tip it into a greased baking tray. Make sure we fill it all around the corners, right to the edge. And then press it down firmly with the back of a wooden spoon. Do you want to help, Robot Small? <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm recharging my batteries. It's time to chill. Hmm. It sure is. We need to chill our mixture. We need to pop it in the fridge for an hour until it's nice and hard. I'll set the timer for one hour. I wish our radio was working. Then we could have a kitchen disco while we waited for our cake to chill. Oh. Our fridge cake is nicely chilled. I've cut it into pieces and I'm arranging it on a board. I've used a big square piece for its body, a smaller square for its head, and four rectangular pieces for its legs and arms. Yum, yum. Activating hungry mode. Can we add the fudge yet? Yes. We need to add fudge and cherry decorations. I'm going to use one piece of fudge to be the robot's antenna, two pieces for the eyes, and a diddy piece for the mouth. Next, another two pieces to be the arm rivets, and two that I've cut into V shapes to be the robot's pinching hands. Why not give your robot some cherry buttons on his tummy? And some little feet. <laughs> Here are some icing eyes, Jen. <laughs> Thanks, Mole. You can buy icing eyes from most supermarkets or online. Let's pop them on. One eye here, 
and another eye there. Our robot cake is finished. Bleep, blop, bleep. Oh, my batteries are running low. Bleep, blop, bleep, bleep. <laughs> oh, oh, it was fun being a robot. <laughs> it's a state-of-the-art snack. Fudgy and yummy. Ruby's going to love it. One robot fridge cake for our friend Ruby coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. <laughs> my name's Jen. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away. Ready for use for another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down. We've got the cleanest. the plate oh, and it's empty Ruby must have really loved her cake and look small there's a note what does it say what does it say let's see it says dear big cook Jen and little cook small my robot fridge cake was yummy it made me dance for joy here's a little gift to get you dancing too love Ruby <laughs> Some new batteries to get our radio working again. Oh, put them in, Jen. Then we can have another kitchen disco. <laughs> Yay! Get ready to dance, everybody. What dance should we do? Hmm. I know. Let's do all of them. Yay! 